Hey everyone, Owen Assurance here. It is Friday, so I thought we'd look at some Serum Ultimates, and sometimes on Friday I just post eh, just random stuff. Let me go ahead and hit continue here, and as you can see, I am now a Necromancer. So my Chalice, get the game started here, got one new notification, unlocked Astrologer. So your Chalice here currently requires me to be a Necromancer. I could have spent 5,000 Essence to change it, but... I just went ahead and made a Necromancer party. Got some of the same characters, some different ones that we'll look at here in a moment. I know there's a lot of talk online about the Goblet of Trials and changing it. Personally, I like it just the way it is. It encourages you to play as different characters. Uh, some people don't like that, but yeah, you don't have to do this. And I could pay 5,000 to change it to another random class that I've unlocked. The more classes you have unlocked though, the more stuff you get from the chalice and hopefully after a moment you'll be able to fill that chalice up. So the necromancer itself, if you're watching this for stuff about the necromancer, he gets animated and basically you're going and animating and having lots of minions. I got zombies here, then I've maxed this out so I get one minion or an additional minion. For just start your creature's turns, their minions gain an additional one or you gain one additional stack. Takes me long enough, but I finally get there in the end. Then when my creatures cast a spell, they summon Conquest. My creatures start battle with three, plus one per rank rifling, so six. And then I get six unstable horrors I start battle with. After your creatures gain a minion or minion stack, they recover health. At the end of your creature's turns, they summon Death, they summon Famine. If I get Conquest, Famine, Death, and War, of course, I can cast Apocalypse. When their turn starts, creatures are healed by this spell. I haven't unlocked Gravewalker yet. When your creatures are killed, they have a 1% per rank chance of being resurrected at 50% health. So you can have a 10% chance of resurrecting, but that's like the last thing on the level. And here I take 10% less damage for each different minion I have. Here your creature's minions are 100% or 2% per rank less likely to go away. So one of the things I had with the dire wolves I used to have is they'd go away after a while, but this, now I'm guaranteed to keep all my creatures until they die or something happens. Here your creatures deal 9% more damage for each different minion they have, which is nice since I have lots of different minions. Here I can keep my minions beyond death. Here after your creatures are damaged by an attacker spell, they summon more. So most of my creatures are the same. But, if I go here, I have two new creatures. I have this Walking Dead dog. And if you look at its traits here, your creatures deal 2% more damage for each stack of Dire Wolves each of your creatures has. And then my zombie minions now deal damage based on their highest stat. So I forget which stat affects zombie minions, but... I'll also start battle with... In addition, your creatures start battle with one zombies. Uh, I forget which trait stacks, but I really don't have to remember because it's whatever my highest trait is, that's going to determine damage for my zombies. And then this one, I forget what I call it, it's Dryad Health Sapper. So with this creature, it does a couple of things. First off, after an enemy is affected with a debuff, which most of my minions are going to do, they lose 15% attack and intelligence. This trait does not stack, but it'll keep activating. After this creature attacks, it gains a random minion. After the other creatures attack, they have a chance to gain a random minion. And then its weapon, my creatures start battle with three stacks of dire wolves. So lots of minions. If you are going to do something like this, I strongly recommend going down to options. And then on battle text, either turning a lot of it off, or you can also, under controls, I got game pet support on, game play. I remember where it is. Oh, turbo mode, where I can just hold down the button and quickly go through the battle text. So either turn off battle text or do that because these are fused. They get a maximum of three extra traits. Eh, I'm gonna do. Wait, maximum extra traits are three. Wait, no, that's. I don't think that affects me, but let's go ahead and do two missions here see what I get in my chalice. So do some runaway creatures. 
I actually wish this mission, when you're subduing runaway creatures, would go and actually pick creatures from your bestiary. I've probably said that before, and I'll say it again. And let's go ahead and get a new decoration. Looks like a creature there. So here, if I don't do auto battle, let's see, this is going to take a while. Because every time my creatures can get lots of stuff, I'm going to be debuffing these creatures, then that debuff is going to go and cause them to lose 15%. I can tell you, like, okay, this battle is pretty quick. But some of these take a long time, and before I had that feature turned on where I could just hold down the auto key, it, it took a while. I had some battles that lasted longer than I care to admit. And we might get one or two on one of these next two levels. So overall, I really like the Necromancer class. You know, when I play action RPGs like Diablo, one of my first characters for Path of Exile will always be some person that just summons hordes of minions. You can see I'm just gaining lots of creatures. Cast an Apocalypse. And gaining some resources. I need lots more granite. I've been going and using a lot of my granite trying to unlock all these projects. Now let's find some more creatures to subdue and find the master of this realm. Get this guy some crystal. I actually do need that. Okay, so far, creatures have been returning without too much of a fuss. Which I always appreciate. Take out these creatures. Carver leveled up, and just a little bit of essence, really. Oh, it wants to turn aggressive. Yeah, okay, it's a crypt pad. I do have that is a crypt pad, right? A mutated crypt pad. As I say, I do have crypt pads in my in my domain, so that actually does make sense. Some of these other creatures I have not saw. My attacks do damage, but mainly these zombies are just coming after my enemies. Because so I've had times when I'm hit with scorn and I can't attack, but I just defend, and I'm still doing lots of damage. Because even if I defend, my minions are still going to go on the attack. Another creature wants to turn aggressive on me. We'll see how that works out. And at absolution, that's a minus 15% attack and intelligence. So eventually, if that'll last more than a couple of turns, the enemies are all going to be at their lowest intel and their lowest attack. It's not defense, and that's why one battle lasted a long time, it's hit me as well defended, but it couldn't do any damage to me either. Eventually I won. Did my realm quest. Let's see what we got here. A Bard Master. Fits the Bard Master. Forty thousand damage. Really scale up on damage quick in this game. Play your cards right. Bard Mastery is now level one. What map is this? Blood Grove has bards. 
And I got the achievement, Master of Bards. Oversized chocolate bar. So now I need to find the exit, and then I'm going to go to a next realm and we'll do that. Because there should be a boss there. I never like that. You find stuff in the vomit and just take it. In that case, I had power in my vomit. That's kind of weird. Hammer Lord Mallet. I'm trying to finish a lot of these projects. Let's go to a next realm. Nether boss, Nearlex. Some essence. Wow, I think this is the boss. Yeah. Wait. You're a long way from home. It's truly a pity you've come so far only to meet your demise here. Prepare yourself. Alright, let's see how y'all do against a pure physical party. Forget what your ability is. It deals damage or damage equal to 10,000% of its attack to a creature it's locked onto, or 300%. That creature is defending. That's a lot of damage. So my blood healer is affected with scorn. character and that he doesn't take out my Terrorite, we should be okay. This Terrorite can revive. And I can also do a mass revive if I want to. cast Panic Attack. I've modified my Panic Attacks, so now I have a 14% chance to cast twice after attacking. So if I attack, I get a 14% chance to cast it, and an 82% chance to cast it twice. And I did cast it twice. Sweet. This is why battles take a long time if you don't have auto control. Because I'm trying not to go too fast, because it will skip my turn. It won't skip my turn, but it will cause me to just attack the first character I have selected, and really don't want that right now. Okay, I took him out. Sweet. So I got some more Gate of the Gods key fragments. Crystal. A lot of good stuff here. See what I got? The treasure chest. Got a new achievement. I need to find a master of this realm. Usually I want to find a master before I finish a realm, because if I accidentally get killed here, it'll still count as me finishing a realm. But I won't get that master. I know some people purposely lose levels after they kill the master, but I don't know. Kind of like constantly progressing. 
If I die legitimately, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and complain. Is the master. Fight a boss monster. Get some more treasure. Okay, my smog fiend is currently confused. Which is not what I want for such a high attack character. Tell you what, you defend. Your zombies will still attack. See, they're all at minimum intelligence, probably a minimum attack, too. Get some resources. Extra favor. Decrease enemy stats some. Standard stuff. I've been filming 16 minutes for recording. This isn't technically filming, some people would tell me. I need to finish up here and find its master, because I gotta go cook supper. Sealed rift, where is the master? Seal another rift. Treasure chest. And some decent stuff. I wonder what class I'm going to have to play as next. Be interesting. Because I'm unlocking so many characters, like in the beginning, it's kind of. You, know, you only got two or three pages of creatures you can summon. It's kind of easy when you're trying to find combos and stuff, but now I got like 20 pages of creatures. The ability to search for certain abilities will be very handy. I know they're going to add that to the game, so I can just type in my buffs or intelligence or spells or minions, and it'll find me some creatures that are appropriate to what I typed in. So I'm looking forward to that feature. Are the masters or master singular? And yeah, mimic. We actually took out one of the characters. The guy can just hold down the attack. He is, has no chance against me. I say it, I'm watching him do something crazy. Well, he died. To poison. I guess that's kind of crazy for a mimic. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. A little bit of crystal. Let's completely eliminate the top. I'll fight another boss monster. Yeah, I really only intended this video to be about 10, 15 minutes. That's okay. Kind of showing off the Necromancer class. Which is lots of fun, and it is a complete... I, mean, I know I still got four of the same characters I used in my Blood Knights, because I'm looking for other characters that have synergy. And these four characters, except for the Blood Healer, my Ashura Blood Healer, they still have synergy with the Necromancer class. So I'm probably, if I have something that does minions or Necromancer class again, I'm probably going to ditch the Ashura Blood Healer and try to get something else that does something with minions. Or maybe something that buffs characters. Maybe there's something that does the same thing as my Dryad, but with defense. I kind of want that. Ooh, new decoration. Feeling like the minion or the 
master's going to be somewhere around here. But I could be completely wrong. There's the master. Let's see what we're fighting for here. Efrits! Single of the Efrids. Your creatures affect enemies with burning. Potential potency of this debuff is increased for 50% for each Efrid finding your side. The stack does not, or the strike does not stack. Okay. Mm. Teleport back to my domain. And let's see what we get in our chalice. A lot of piety. Okay. New music, Eternity's End from Serum 2. Sweet. Piety's nice, I can go and unlock the thing. Now let me see what I'm supposed to be next. Can I get a... Trickster, okay. That actually is going to be pretty easy to do since that's my main class. I'll be going back to the Trickster, I guess. About to go back. Well, I still haven't completed any line of my prophecies yet. I'm about to. Just need some more of those statues. Well, that is going to conclude our quick look at the Necromancer and the uh, beating of the boss on. That's level 90. Let me check. Yeah, that was level 90. So if you enjoyed the video, as always, give it a thumbs up. I always like to see that people are enjoying the videos. If you have any comments, concerns, issues, celebrations, anything like that, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.